Hey everybody, welcome back to Off the Wall. I'm Mike. Today I'm here to talk about the new movie Blonde, starring Ana de Armas as Marilyn Monroe in a kind of biographical. I don't know. This is this movie's a lot. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna mince words. This movie's a lot. I watched it. I was I was very excited for this movie. I'm a big Ana de Armas fan, and the trailers we we watched and, and reviewed here on the channel looked very interesting and upon watching the movie finally um i think what i put on twitter was i i've watched blonde i immediately regretted it it's very unpleasant it's it's a dark bleak uh just very unpleasant movie i i don't really know how to even put into words uh what I mean, like just some of the things that we see done and, and depicted in this movie, it comes across as being like both shocking and pretentious. You know, I, I kind of look at it sort of the same way I looked at like Darren Aronofsky's mother from a few years ago, where it's, it comes across as someone who's just trying to evoke a response and is being douchey about it. It's being, it screams pretentious art film. Um, the depictions of of sex in particular in this movie are unpleasant and hard to watch uh they feel like they're there to be purely exploitative um i had a very hard time watching moments in this movie um not to mention the implications like the things that this movie is implying and i know it's based on a book that was like a loose it's it's hard to it's hard to separate what's real and what's not because of, of how it's written and how it's directed um but it it goes from being deeply dramatic to almost uh goofily fantastical is that goofily fantastical to a point where it's silly um but it's all over the place with its tone. The the thing I and I I know I just already remarked on this, but again, like the depictions of sex in this movie are just. This is a movie that's there to uh, sexualize as much part of this story as possible. Um, there's one scene in particular I won't go into, but a sex act is depicted to an almost pornographic sense and it's even almost remarked on like the movie almost comments on itself for how graphic the scene is and to me it's like well if you're aware of how messed up this looks and you're doing it anyway then you know then you're just then you kind of that's your way of like admitting you're just doing this to shock people and i don't i'm not i'm not on board for that kind of thing it's 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 just bleak it's very bleak it's very unpleasant and it's very hard to get through i i had to stop and start it many times because it would just get and i can handle a lot I mean, I there, I have very, uh, very good at, at at you know fighting light in a dark place or or you know just not letting things like this bother me. But I think it was just it was just too much. It was an assault on the senses, and it was an assault on the sensibilities. Um, and if I never have to see this movie again, uh, it'll it'll be a miracle. I have no desire to ever see this movie ever again. To, in my opinion, the less spoken about this movie, the better. I think this is one. I think this is one of those movies that we need to just like let fade into time and just forget about it. It, it just, yeah, this is not one that needs to be talked about for 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 years to come. This is not one that needs to be studied or analyzed or broken down. This is a movie that just needs to be forgotten about. And here's the thing: I'm going to say. It's not that it's a bad movie. From an artistic standpoint, it's a very well done movie. The the acting, for the most part, 
is 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 pretty good. Ana de Armas is is hit and miss in this. I think she was just miscast, and I have a very hard time saying that because I'm a huge fan of hers, but I I think she was miscast in this movie. Um, the the cinematography and like the production design is all very well done. It's not that it's a bad movie; it's just that it's an unpleasant movie. I don't know who this movie is for. I don't. I don't know. I don't know what the target audience of this movie is meant to be, other than just anybody who's foolish enough to watch it to get tricked in by the trailers, like I was, to watch this movie and to walk out of it needing a shower. I felt gross after watching this movie. So the less said about it, the better. Don't watch this movie. I, I really encourage you to just let this movie fade into obscurity. Um, it's not a, it's not pleasant, and I I cannot in good faith recommend anyone actually watch this movie. Um, yeah, hard pass. So, uh, thank you guys for joining me for this short solo review of Blonde. Uh, don't watch it. Just watch literally anything else. Go watch The Room. I don't know. Watch anything else other than this. Yeah. Let me know what you guys, if you have watched it, though, let me know what you thought down in the comments below. We'll see you guys again next time. Bye.